Good morning children. In today's class we are going to learn some miscellaneous problems from chapter 6. Question number 1. The probability function of a random variable x is given. Evaluate the given probabilities. As we see the question, it is given x is equal to in each case. So, it is a discrete random variable. We can tabulate x, p of x, x values minus 2, 0, 10. p of x values, when x is minus 2, it is 1 by 4. When x is 0, it is 1 by 4. When x is 10, it is 1 by 2. In the remaining places, it is 0. Check whether the total probability is 1. 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 gives us 1. So, in this case, we are ensuring sigma px equal to 1. What are we to find out? Very first one, p of x less than r equal to 0. Look at the table. Which are the x values below or equal to 0? 0 or below. So, the two values are minus 2 and 0. P of x is equal to minus 2 and P of x is equal to 0. When x is minus 2, the probability is 1 by 4. When x is 0, the probability is 1 by 4. As we add, 4 is the LCM. 1 plus 1 gives us 2. 2 by 4 is nothing but 1 by 2. So, probability of x less than or equal to 0 is 1 by 2. Second subdivision, we need to find out P of x less than 0. Look at the table again. Less than 0 tells us below 0. Here 0 below. Only one value that is x is equal to minus 2 and the corresponding probability is 1 by 4. When equal symbol comes include 0. When equal is not there we need to check below. So below 0 only one value and the probability is 1 by 4. Third subdivision we need to find out mod x less than r equal to 2. How are we to rewrite this? Whenever mod x is coming, we will write it as here 2 comes. So, the value of x is between minus 2 and plus 2. Mod x less than or equal to 2. We rewrite it as minus 2 less than x less than 2. Look at the table. Between minus 2 and 2, which are the x values, here equal symbol comes, so we will definitely put equal symbol. So, between minus 2 and plus 2, inclusive of minus 2 and plus 2, here we have minus 2 and 0. The next value 10 is beyond 2, so we will take only these two values, p of x is minus 2, and P of X is 0. X minus 2 the probability 1 by 4. X is 0 also the probability 1 by 4. Again we get 2 by 4 which is nothing but 1 by 2. So probability of mod X less than or equal to 2 we get 1 by 2. Fourth subdivision we need to find P of 0 less than or equal to X less than or equal to 10. Now x is falling between 0 and 10. Equal symbol comes include 0, include 10 also. Look at the table. Between 0 and 10 we have only these two values. P of x is equal to 0 and P of x is equal to 10. x is equal to 0 the probability 1 by 4. x is equal to 10 the probability 1 by 2. As we take LCM for 4 and 2, it is 4. 1 plus 2 twos are 2 ones are. As I add, it is 3 by 4. So, probability of X between 0 and 10, we get 3 by 4. Question number 2. Let X be a random variable with cumulative distribution function. Capital F of X is given for the various intervals. We need to compute 
p of x between 1 and 2, p of x equal to 3. Part 2 is x, a discrete random variable. Let us do part b first. Is x a discrete random variable? How am I to find out? Look at f of x values. It should be constant for any interval they give. If it is a constant, it will be a step function like this. In that case, I will declare it to be a discrete random variable. For example, 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, 1. If they describe like that, we will immediately say it is a discrete random variable. But in the function x is coming, as x changes, this value changes. Definitely, it is a continuous random variable. So, as x changes, capital F of x changes in that particular interval itself, it changes in value. Therefore, it is not a step function. In that case, I will say it is not a discrete random variable, but x is a continuous random variable. Now proceeding to a part. I want to find out probability of x between a and b. The formula is whenever capital F of x is given, f of b minus f of a. Whenever capital F of x, cumulative distribution function is given, probability of x between a and b is f of b minus f of a. Here, p of 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2 is given. So, what is my answer? f of 2 minus f of 1. Calculate f of 2. Where is 2 coming in the interval? Here, 2 equal to symbol comes here. So, it is 3 by 4 plus 2 by 12. 3 by 4 plus 2 by 12. Taking LCM 12, 3 times 3, 3 is 9 plus 2. Or I will say 11 by 12. Now, I want to find out F of 1. Where is 1 coming in this interval? Here you have equal symbol for 1. That is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8. 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8. Again taking LCM 8 cross multiplying 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 plus 1 that is 3 by 8. Let me substitute in the given question. My question is f of 2 minus f of 1. It is 11 by 12 minus 3 by 8. The LCM for 12 and 8 I can say 24. 2 times 3 times. And so my answer 13 by 24. The next formula I want probability of x equals to a. Continuous random variable I can find x between two numbers. Not at a particular number. At a particular number the formula goes very easily that it is 0. So, P of X is equal to A. Any number in the given interval. My answer is 0. Here, the second part is P of X is equal to 3. And so, my answer is immediately 0. So, remember when capital F is given. Between A and B. My formula capital F of B minus capital F of A. Check where A is coming. Check where B is coming in this problem. 2. Where is 2 coming? I have 3 by 4 plus X by 12. And X is equal to 2. Where is 1 coming here? So my F of X is 1 by 4 plus X by 8. Wherever X comes we put 1. Here, wherever x comes, we put 2. As we simplify by taking LCA, let us substitute here. Simplify and get the required answer. 
Question number 3. The PDF of X. Probability density function of X is given. We need to find K and probability of X between 2 and 4. We can say F of X is a PDF. What is the formula? Integral minus infinity to infinity f of x dx should be 1. In this question, the limits are from 0 to 4. Other places it is 0. So, ignore the remaining interval where it is becoming 0. Our question is stated between 0 and 4. f of x is given as k dx equal to 1. The remaining places it is 0. Even if I integrate it is going to be 0 which can be ignored. As we integrate k integral dx is only x between the limit 0 to 4 that is 1. Put upper limit wherever x comes 4 wherever x comes 0. Upper limit minus lower limit that is equal to 1. 4 minus 0, 4. 4 into k, 4k. 4k, 1 gives us k value 1 by 4. I need to find out p of 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 4. What is the formula we remember? Probability of x lying between a and b is integral a to b f of x dx. If capital F is given, f of b minus f of a. If small f is given, integral between the two limits, f of x dx. So, in this question, small f is given. So, let us directly integrate between 2 and 4 f of x. What is f of x? 2 to 4 is definitely inside this interval. 2 to 4 is definitely inside this interval. The value is k and k is nothing but 1 by 4. So, 1 by 4 we need to integrate. 1 by 4 is a constant. Just keep it as it is. Integral dx is nothing but x between the limits 2 and 4. Wherever x comes, upper limit Wherever x comes, lower limit. Upper limit minus lower limit. As I simplify, 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 by 4 is nothing but 1 by 2. So, probability of x between 2 and 4 is 1, 1 by 2 and that completes the answer. Question number 4. The probability distribution function of a discrete random variable is given. We know whenever it is a discrete random variable, sigma fx must be equal to 1. So, we need to find k as well as p of x greater than 2. If I put sigma f of x is 1, add it all. It is 2k plus 3k plus 4k equals 1. Adding all the values, we get 9k equals 1 or k equals 1 by 9. Second part, we shall tabulate x value, f of x value. So, this is the probability distribution function. x value 1, 3, 5. Probability 2k, 3k, 4k. What is k actually? 1 by 9. 2 into 1 by 9. 3 into 1 by 9. 4 into 1 by 9 and the remaining places it is 0. Now I need to find out P of X greater than 2. Look at the table. Which are the values greater than 2? The question is defined only for 1, 3, 5. In that X greater than 2 tells me these two values. X is equal to 3 and X is equal to 5. When x is equal to 3, we get 3 by 9. When x is equal to 5, it is 4 by 9. Adding which we get 7 by 9. P of x greater than 2 is 7 by 9.